such a powerful tool that can help you save hours every single day. What if we can use something called clay makes this video particularly exciting is it's just another different hook and another different angle to add to your arsenal. It can be really helpful to have you find open roles that you want to reach out about. Welcome, welcome back guys to a, another video. In this video, we're going to continue to talk about client acquisition, but also dive a little bit deeper on one of our favorite products called clay. It's such a powerful tool that can help you save hours every single day, completely streamlining your business development workflow. And before we get deep into it, I want to introduce Ryan. Ryan's one of our master coaches here at the Recruiter School. He's also a professional recruiter, just like me, scaling our agency where we engage with some of the best companies out there. So if you're new here, welcome. But Ryan, before we kind of get into a specific feature, talk us more about clay. Why do we like it? What does clay do? Yeah, great question. I think maybe even better question is what does clay not do? It really is quite impressive in the power and, and the, the functionality you're able to get, especially in the realm of research and finding data and enriching data. And so there are tons of different use cases for clay across a bunch of industries. But I would say if we're keeping it specific to the recruiting space, it can be really helpful to have you find open roles that you want to reach out about, find hiring managers, find their contact information, or even do deeper research like we'll share in this video on different angles that you can use for client acquisition. And so for this video, um, I'll pass it over to Preston in a moment here, but we're going to be talking about how can we use Clay and their AI agent specifically to do some in-depth research to find any new positions or old positions that need to be backfilled. And so there's just a billion ways you can use this tool, but happy to really dive into this one specifically here today. I'm so excited about this because when it comes to client acquisition, you first learn how to do things the easiest route, right? Which is like learn how to target hiring managers, companies that are hiring, send them an outreach, email, messages, cold calling, all that still works. But what really makes this video particularly exciting is it's just another different hook and another different angle to add to your arsenal of client acquisition and the overall strategy. And so the whole backfill strategy is super cool. So basically, just to reiterate what Ryan said, once again, if someone leaves their current job, naturally, that company has to backfill that talent, their employee leaving, right? And they're going to have to start another search. So another way to find talent is to identify these opportunities to be like, hey, so and so just left, do you need help backfilling? And this could be a lot more effective because it's less competitive because everyone's going after like the companies that are posting on the job ads. So instead of like five or six or seven multiple manual steps, what if we can use? Are you completely lost on how to implement AI or automation in your business? Are you struggling with getting responses from new clients? Are you an established recruiter who is struggling to level up or break six figures and beyond? Or do you have no idea how to even start a successful recruitment business at all, whether it's full-time or part-time? If any of these resonate with you, please check out The Recruiter School, a premier educational and coaching program that will teach you everything I've learned in the past decade that has helped me bill over $5 million on my own desk, where I had also the chance to work with the best companies in the world. You'll learn everything from what is the best ATS to how to master client acquisition, what are the best plugins and tools, what are the best platforms to find candidates on, how do you optimize your website and even LinkedIn profile, or how do you actually systematize your workflow with the best AI and automation. The best part, we will also personally handhold and be with you every step of the way through our one-on-one -on -one coaching just to make sure you understand and implement everything perfectly. But don't just take my word for it. Since we launched, the number of success stories that we created have truly been jaw-dropping and amazing. Whether it's making five figures part-time to picking up their first clients within the first couple days to a week to now making 30, 40, $50,000 per month consistently, I could go on and on and on. So if you're interested to learn more, make sure you click on the link below to book a time. Since our schedule books up really fast, make sure you reach out quickly. See you on the other side. But it's also like a really manual process. You have to keep track of like who's leaving, then you have to LinkedIn profile or their resume, identify the company they just left, reach out and identify the hiring managers. So instead of like five or six or seven multiple manual steps, what if we can use something called Clay and they also have a really cool AI, AI agent feature called Clayagent to do it for you completely on autopilot. So I think this is a great strategy. Should it be your only strategy? Probably not. Could it be a great strategy to add to a lot of other strategies like leading by value, you know, leading with the NPC? Absolutely to make your client acquisition a lot more robust. Absolutely. And one thing I'll give at a high level overview here on the backflow strategy is that you can also add multiple strategies together. You know, this is a little bit outside the scope of this video, but you can very nicely put together an NPC approach with a backfill approach. So instead of just saying, hey, Preston, I see so and so on your team just left, are you looking to you know replace them or hire someone new? You can say, hey, Preston, I saw that Stacy on your team just
just left and you may be looking for a new product manager. Here's this product manager I have who's fantastic for XYZ reasons. Are you interested to chat? So just to give you guys a little teaser of the absolute power that a strategy like this can provide you, but also even more power when you combine it with other approaches. So Preston, do you have any other last thoughts before I uh, share my screen here and we dive into the workflow? I just think it'll be funny to go back to that company and be like, what would you pay us to get Stacy back at your team and company? <laughs> I saw that Stacy left and here's Stacy again. And we got her to be really excited to join you guys. Can you imagine that? That's so funny. Anyway, just adding a little humor into this, but I'm excited to kind of dive a little bit deeper and, and just see what Clay can do here. So Ryan, let's rock and roll. Absolutely awesome. So before I share my screen here, I just wanted to talk through the flow at a high level, just so you guys understand the fundamentals of what this flow looks like. So again, we're going for the backfill approach. So what we first need to do is we need to identify people who have recently found a new job or are starting at a new company. Um, for this example, let's just say I recruit in finance. So I'm going after your CFOs, your VPs of finance, things like that. So I need to first search for VPs of finance or CFOs who have just started a new position. And then I need to find out what was the last company that they worked for. Once I know the last company that they worked for, I need to find figure out who would be good at that company to reach out to, to send that message saying, hey, I saw that so-and-so just left. So there's a couple of steps. First, find the people who have the new jobs. Second, find the companies that they just left. And third, find the right hiring manager at that company. So with that said, let me pull up Clay here and we can walk through those within the software. Let's do it. All right, Preston, can you see this Clay page up here with my cursor spinning around? Yep, loud and clear. All right, perfect. So as I just mentioned, the first step in this process is finding people who have got a new job. So finding people. So really helpfully, Clay has this button here to do a quick start, find people. So now Clay is asking me, all right, we're finding people. Who are we finding, right? So let me put in a couple of criteria. Firstly is job title. As I said, for this example, let's say I recruit for finance. So I'll type in CFOs, maybe VP of finance. There we go. Maybe what's one more, maybe like a controller, right? And again, you can feel free to edit this to your heart's desire. I'm just going finance for this example. So I'm telling Clay, all right, find me people with a job titles, either CFO, VP or director of finance or controller. And then really crucially in this experience tab, I want to click into this box where it says maximum months in current role. I'm going to set this at one. So I'm telling Clay, only find me these finance people who have been in their current role for a maximum of one month. So they're fresh, they're brand new. All right, then I'm also going to say location just to keep it simple. I'll say United States and then everything else should look pretty good here. Let's give a quick preview to see how many people Clay can pull up for us. Perfect. For this example, I think 15 is perfect. So we can see these are all people with these job titles that we're looking for. And we'll double check in just a moment to confirm that these people are newly in their jobs. So I'll click this blue import button down here. I'll just import to new table. It's going to ask you if you want to enrich the profile with data, like emails, phone numbers, all that kind of stuff. We're not going to do that for right now. Just to keep it simple, we're going to continue absolutely for free. So up to this point, no dollars, no cents have been spent. And so Clay is now going to create this table for us. As I said, these are the folks that we pulled up. Let's just do a double check to confirm that these people recently started new roles. So I'll just, let me just copy this and we'll pull up their LinkedIn profile. Let's see if this guy just got a new job in finance. Boom. Yes, he did. New CFO at Hud Bay Minerals. Perfect. So we know that this list is good. These are all people newly in their role. So step one, done. Now step two, if you recall, is we need to figure out a way to find out what is the company that these people just left. And the best way to do this that I have found is through the AI agent that Clay has in-house, what they call Clayagent, to do just that. And so what we're going to do is we're going to click Add Enrichment and type in Clayagent. And before I get into the, all the prompts, to explain what we're doing here is we want this AI agent to go through each person's LinkedIn profile. And I'm going to ask Clayagent to tell me what is the name of the company that they just left. So what it's going to do is going to essentially scrape through each of these LinkedIn profiles to find that information for us. So I will say, go through this person's LinkedIn profile. Let me zoom in a little bit, make that a little bit easier to see here. Perfect. So I'm saying go through this person's LinkedIn profile and I have to tell Clay what is their LinkedIn profile. So go through this person's LinkedIn profile and see if there is a company that they left in the past three months. Now you may be asking me, Ryan, you know, why are you asking Clayton to tell you if they left a company in the past three months? Because obviously they did if they're on this list. Not necessarily. Sometimes people on put on LinkedIn if they are an advisor at a new company or maybe they're a board of directors, or maybe they take on a volunteer role. They haven't left their past company. They just added a new position. And so we're having Clayton double check to ensure that this person did in fact leave a company. And if they left a the company, then we know there's likely a backfill. So first I'm saying, go 
through the person's LinkedIn profile and see if there's a company that they left in the past three months. If there is, please list out the name of the company, the title this person held when they left, the company's LinkedIn URL, and the company's domain. If there is not a company they left in the last three months, return didn't leave. And so I'm using AI then to generate this formula for this AI agent to use when it's going through these LinkedIn profiles. So what it is doing is now creating a suggested prompt for me to give the AI agent. And we just wanted to give a quick double check to make sure that all this looks good to us. So context, you are tasked with analyzing a person's LinkedIn profile to determine recent employment changes. And as we asked it to do, go through this person's LinkedIn profile and see if there's a company. If there is, give us this information. If not, return didn't leave. So these are the instructions. Just make a quick double check to ensure this looks good. Visit the profile, review history, and the recent company left in the past three months. We want a company name, job title, LinkedIn URL, and domain. Perfect. This looks good to me. This is the example. And what we're going to also do is define the outputs because we don't want to have this AI agent just find this information for us and then put it in some table that's just kind of messy and hard to interpret. We want to have this in a nice, clean spreadsheet. And so what we have to do is tell Clay, what type of data are you asking for? So for the company name, that is going to be text, job title, that is text, but a company's LinkedIn URL, that is actually a URL. And then for a company domain, that is also a URL. So we click save here. I'm going to click save and don't run just to see and ensure that this table builds out correctly, which it looks like it has. And then I'm going to just run, let's say the first five people in this table. So what Clay is now doing is AI agent is going through the LinkedIn profile to get that information that we asked for. So I'll give it a second. But as you can see, we are already starting to get some results at the companies that these people have recently left. That's so cool. I, I love to see it just like working in real time. I know this would take so much more time to do this all manually. So perfect. We have five examples here. And so if everything is correct, if we have done everything properly, these should be the companies that these people recently left. So let's take an example. Amira here, this AI agent told us that in the past three months, she left a company called Angle Help. Let's double check. Let's check her LinkedIn profile to confirm that that looks good. Give LinkedIn just a moment here. All right. So this is Amira and perfect. She just left Angle Help this month or last month, two months ago. So perfect. So this is exactly what we want. This is exactly correct. So if you were building this out, whole out this flow, you know, you could go through all of every single uh, row in the column. But for this example, I think this suits our needs just fine. So here we now have the second step completed. So not only have we found the people that have recently left, but we have used an AI agent to tell us what is the company that they just left. So now we need to take this company data and we need to find people at these companies, right? We have to figure out who do we reach out to about this person leaving. And so to do that, we have to move this data into a different table because right now this is a people table and Clay needs to read this as a company table. That's just how they do their processing. You either have a table for companies or a table for people. So what we're going to do is we're going to tell Clay to take this information and put it into a different table that is aligned for companies. So really simply, we're just going to click add enrichment and then we say write to table. And so I'm just going to say write this to a new brand new table and what columns do we want? So we want, let me find it here. We want the company LinkedIn URL and then we also want the company domain. All right. So we'll just click save on that. And then if we run those five rows, this will then give us a new database. If you see on the bottom left here of companies, looks like there might've been a little error with the right to table that I asked it to do. Let me just double check here. Now have this new companies database for the companies that recently had someone leave their teams. And now it's as simple as clicking a few buttons to find the right people to reach out to at those companies. So simply all we have to do here is click this actions button. And let me zoom in here, click this actions. And it's as simple as find people at these companies. So now Clay is asking, all right, we have this list of companies. Who do we want to reach out to at these companies? And so this is something you will have to decide for yourself, for your niche, for your industry, for what you you know want to do. But for us, let's see, we're recruiting for CFOs, uh, VPs of finance, head of finance. Let's say I want Clay to give me people at these companies who are CEOs, maybe even include CFOs here, because as we said earlier in the example, maybe it's a VP of finance who left. And so we want to reach out to the CFO. So I'll just have Clay give me all the people, and I'll still specify, I want them in the US, give me all the people with those job titles, our hiring managers at these companies, and let's see what it returns. Perfect. 12. I think that's perfect for what we need to do. We'll continue for free. No need to get all their information. And then now we know these are 12 really qualified people that we could reach out to for this campaign. So we can essentially say, hey, Dennis, I saw you recently lost a CFO. You know, I hire CFOs in San Francisco. You know, are you open to chatting or whatever the case may be? So now that we have this table, what we can do is click add and and then, you know, just depending on what kind of data you would like, let's say I want work emails, and then you just 
just type in find work email, hit save. And then for whatever the people that you want to reach out to, you just click play on this button and then Clay will go to work to find the contact information for that person. So as you can see here, let me just clean this up a little bit to make this easier to see. Here we now have a list of people. One, left their job. Two, the list of companies that they just left. And now three, finally, the hiring managers at the companies they left who are likely looking to hire for those positions again. So that was step-by-step step how the workflow works. Again, it's one, two, three steps to figure out who is the right person to reach out to about this company so I can pitch my services or my candidates as the backfill for the people that just left their teams. This is good stuff. And then you can scale this as far as you want to go. Exactly, exactly. So this was just a high level quick demo, but there are a million more modifications and tweaks and nuances you can add to make this even more powerful for your use cases. But just to show you at a high level how you can use this tool, Clay, to do some really powerful backfill campaigns. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for showing that. And the beautiful thing about Clay, guys, again, there's so many things that you can do, but this is an absolutely like game-changing strategy that you can add to your arsenal. You can also include elements of MPC, let Clay do all the heavy lifting for you, integrate that to your outreach channel of choice, and then just automate all of that and just wait for the responses and leads to come in, jump on them, close a client, off you go, right? So Clay can be utilized in infinite amount of ways where it always excites to make more videos about Clay. So if you want to see more videos of Clay and how we can use it in different applications and settings, let us know. Otherwise, comment down below on how you like to use Clay. I really, really appreciate it. You taking time with us for a couple minutes here, learning more about how we can just level up your BD. So thank you so much again, guys, and we'll see you on the next one.